Jazz at the Pacers. Uh, Pacers six and a half point favorite. Jazz plus two hundred on the money line. Total sitting at two forty two. Chris, I'll let you kick this game off. Seems like you got an angle here on the Pacers. Why? Why do you like the Pacers? Yeah, I'll, I'll first start off by saying, you know, judge us uh, when January comes around with <laughs> you know some of these records, uh, larger sample sizes. I know, I know, it pisses me off seeing that losing record for me. I'm not used to that in this show. Anyway, <laughs> um, Pacers. Yeah. So you know, at first when I see this game, I'm thinking, man, the Pacers, Pacers are six and a half point favorites. They really deserve that designation just yet. But you look at this game at home. Obviously, the way that the Pacers play, right? We we know what they do, how they play basketball. They're one of the fastest teams in the NBA. They're going to remain that way. Uh, they are number one in office offensive efficiency so far through seven games, I believe. And the team they're facing is just, you know, this isn't a good matchup for the Jazz, who I think are still very much in experimental mode, right? Will Hardy seems like a bright young mind. I think he's going to be a good coach for them. But th- there's a lot to figure out about this team still. I mean, Jordan Clarkson and um, Horton Tucker have just been abysmal so far. I don't know what's going on with Clarkson. Maybe he's like 31 and just, you know, starting to kind of, progress in his scoring ability, but their starting lineup has been a problem. And obviously, Lori Markinen is going to be consistent game in, game out, 47% from the floor so far, you know, 24 points per game. But he's about the only one that's been consistent for that team. And by what Will Hardy is saying, basically admitting that he still has a lot to figure out with his Jazz team and the different rotations that they're going to use and the different defensive schemes that they're going to apply. I don't like that going to Indiana where this Pacers team knows exactly who they are. They're going to try to run up the score. And I yeah. just don't think that the Jazz can keep pace. Uh, no pun intended. So I am going to go with the Pacers minus six and a half in the spot. There are, there are some sixes out there. There might be a six at Bet US right now, but I'm not sure why the line is coming down. It, it does feel large for the Pacers, but I'm taking them. Well, you mentioned keep up with the pace. And uh, Pacers was definitely a team name where uh, yeah, I was watching the NBA for years and years and years before I realized, Oh, pace cars. That's why they're called pacers. Really? Yeah. Uh, where you were just one of those moments where like, how was I so dumb? A lot of learning. Yes. I missed this for so many years. Uh, noobs, any thought here on the game itself? Pacers jazz for me, I'll just jump in real quick. The, the jazz look like a team. I'm not going to be backing very often on the road. Uh, you know, young team, as you mentioned, figuring things out, they have that sneaky elevation uh, thing going on at home and they've, they've randomly had some nice upsets at home. So maybe look to play them at home. If, if teams are looking past them, but on the road against a hungry opponent, I'm not looking to get down on the jazz, but what about you noobs? Any, could you make a case for the jazz? I guess the only thing you could really say is you look at Indiana's schedule. It's the first night of a back to back and tomorrow they host the Milwaukee Bucks. So maybe a little bit of a look ahead spot here, but you're talking about a jazz team who just gave up 130 points to the Chicago Bulls. One of the worst offenses in the NBA. They play slow. They shoot a lot of twos. They scored 130 points. I was hoping to bet a Pacers team total over here, but opened everything up this morning. The market with a really good number at 124 and a half, 124 and a half. They might score 130, 140 points tonight. It's depending on what they really want to do. The injury report's pretty clean. My guess is if the numbers move it a little towards Utah, you know, Walker Kessler is questionable. Maybe somebody knows he's more less than questionable than he is questionable, which is always fun that we get to do this, you know, early <laughs> November, but it does. It seems like a nice spot for Indiana. Again, the only thing you could hold against them is the look ahead spot to Milwaukee tomorrow night, but this should be kind of a nice warm up game Win this by 10 again, score 130 points and the starters only have to play 25 minutes against the team that they really should be ripping this, this Utah team up at home. Yeah, it does feel like Utah's uh, being fed to the wolves here. Uh, so lock it up for Chris on the Pacers minus six and a half. 